Hello again, Flame Nation, and welcome to the Lee Weekly Spotlight, presented by Landmark Insurance Group. I'm Kensington Wheeland. And I'm Carmen Lastoria. Today, we will begin by highlighting track runner Justin Brooks, who competed at the NCAA Indoor Track and Field Nationals last week. Brooks finished fifth overall in the 400-meter dash and was named the first team All-American. This is a great honor for Justin and our program, said Lee head coach Kayla Morgan. He is an athlete who puts in the work year-round. To achieve such an award as an underclassman is exceptional. The softball team improved to 17-7 and overall and are tied for second at 8-4 and in the GSC after a three-game sweep at number 21, North Alabama. Lee Beatonbow picked up two wins in the circle and Taylor Moran had a win, a save, and four hits to guide the Lady Flames to, to three straight impressive victories. Softball will host rival Shorter this weekend beginning with a doubleheader on Saturday at 2 p.m. The women's basketball team saw its historic season come to an end as they lost to the number one seed in the South region, Eckerd College, 84-77 in the opening round of the NCAA tournament last Friday. Freshman Abby Bertram led the way with 22 points, 5 assists, and 4 rebounds, while Carrie Cheeks added a double-double with 16 points and 10 rebounds. With the full cast returning, the Lady Flames will have their eyes set on another deep run into March next season. The Lee baseball team rallied past Carson Newman 6-5 in extra innings last Wednesday thanks to a walk-off home run from senior catcher Nate Weirzak. Over the weekend, the Flames won 1-3 of three at North Alabama and will now prepare for a showdown at home against rival Shorter this weekend after a midweek doubleheader with Bellarmine on Wednesday. The Flames are currently 15-7 overall and an even 6-6 six six in the GSC. The women's golf team had no trouble in winning the Skyhawk Invitational, which was hosted by Point University this past Monday and Tuesday. Sam Burris finished second with a 146 total, while Ann Hedegaard and Caroline Moore also had top five finishes to claim spots on the all-tournament team. The Lady Flames have now won back-to-back -back tournaments after winning in Las Vegas last week and are currently ranked number 13 in the nation. The men's golf team placed tied for 7th at the Southeastern Collegiate hosted by Valdosta State. A total of 18 quality teams took part in the event at the challenging Kinderloo Forest Golf Club. The 12th ranked Flames picked up wins over the 7th and 10th D ranked D2 teams and tied the 5th ranked squad. Shea Sylvester led the way for Lee as he was tied for 9th with a 4 over 220 in the 54 hole tournament. The men's and women's tennis teams went down to Orlando over spring break and they came away with a perfect record as they stormed through the competition under the Florida sun. The men went 5-0 on the week, including scoring a big 5-4 win over number 42, Florida Tech. The ladies went 3-0 and did not even drop a single match in cruising to a 4-1 overall record to start the season. Conference play will pick up now for the tennis squads as they host Shorter on Wednesday and North Alabama on Saturday. Women's lacrosse fell to Shorter this past Tuesday and will look to get the program's first win on Monday as they host Lincoln Memorial at 4 p.m. For all the latest information on Lee Athletics, make sure to visit us at GoLeeFlames.com and follow us on social media at Lee U Flames. This has been your Lee Weekly Spotlight. Until next time, for Carmen Lastoria, I'm Kensington Whelan. Have a great week and go Flames!